This occurring challenge is called 2D Array. We're going to receive a 6x6 six six grid and we need to look for patterns like what they have here. So this pattern here is called an hourglass and it has three elements at the top, one element in the middle and three elements at the bottom. In the example that they have here, which is the same as the one I have here in notepads, these ones here represent an hourglass. So you have three elements at the top, one in the middle and one here. What we need to do in this challenge is find all of these patterns, sum up all their elements and return the highest sum that we found. They give us an example here. Let's say this is our grid. We're going to look for any hourglass that we can find. We're going to sum up all the elements and at the end, we're going to return the highest sum. So in this case, it's 28. They also have another illustration here if you scroll down and I think this helps you better understand this challenge, but I'm just going to go ahead and explain my code now. So this is a function. It's called hourglass sum. It takes in a 2D vector called R and this matrix only contains integers. So first, what I'm going to do is create an int variable, which is going to contain the maximum sum for the hourglass at the end of this challenge. So here I'm initializing this to negative 63. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if you look at the constraints, the elements inside the matrix are going to range from negative nine to positive nine. So this is an inclusive range. What I want to do is take the smallest value within that range, which is negative nine and have that times seven. The reason why I'm having times seven is because an hourglass only contains seven integers, three at the top, one in the middle and three at the bottom. Now I have a nested for loop. The first for loop here is for the rows and the second one is for the columns. So I'm going to loop through all the rows from zero all the way to the row that is third from last. And for J, that is for the columns, I'm going to loop through them starting from index two, that is the third column all the way to the ends. The reason why I'm doing that is because an hourglass can be spread across a three by three matrix within the parent matrix here. So let me explain. The value for I here, which is for the rows, is going to loop from the top row here all the way to this one. If the value for I stops here, I can safely access the next row here for my middle elements and another row here for my elements at the bottom of my hourglass. I can go all the way from here to here for any hourglass that I'm processing at the top. Then I'm going to go from here to here, then from here to here, and finally from here to here. The same logic applies for the columns, except that the columns are going to start from index two, which is this one here, and go all the way until the end. Now I need this because I intend to have a third variable here called K and K is going to start two positions away from J. So when J is two here and I'm beginning my loop, when J is two, K is going to be zero. So K is going to run from here, then here, and then here. And when it's equal to J, it's going to stop. When J is two, K is going to get the values from zero all the way to two. When J is three here, K is going to get the value from index one all the way to index three. When J is four, K is going to read the values from index two all the way to index four. And when J is five here, K is going to read the values from three to five. And when I say read the values, what I really mean is sum up the values. So if we can access the values here at the top, and we know that we can safely access the element from our rows because we are controlling our for loop for i, which is for the rows, then we can sum up the values at the top and at the same time, sum up the values at the bottom of the hourglass. And then when we are done, we can also get the value for the one in the middle, which we missed. So this is the code here. You can see that i starts at zero. It goes all the way to the row that is third from last. And j here starts at index two all the way to the end. And k always starts two positions away from J. And our glass here is going to be equal to zero. This our glass is going to hold the sum for every our glass as we iterate through our matrix. And I'm saying here, while the value of K is not equal to the value of J, I want to sum up the values from the rows. So for instance, it will be this plus this plus this, at the same time, this plus this plus this. And that's why for the rows here, I'm saying I plus two and then K. And at every iteration during this while loop, I'm increasing the value of K. And then here I'm picking the value from the middle, which I missed. So I plus one. So if I is zero and I read this and this at the same time, then I have to pick this one as well. And when I'm done, max hourglass, this variable here from the top is going to hold the value corresponding to whatever is the maximum between its current value and the sum that we just had 
through the hourglass variable here. So once we are done processing our matrix, we can simply return max hourglass. So let's go ahead and run this code. We've passed all the three sample test cases. So now I'm going to submit this code. And we've passed all the nine test cases. So that's it for this challenge. It was called 2D Array. If you liked my solution and you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.